Hello, Aquarius. Welcome to Intuitive Gems. My name is Desiree, and I will be doing your money, wealth, finance, prosperity, and abundance reading for the month of December 2020. If this is your first time catching one of my readings, I do want to say welcome, and I invite you to subscribe because I do this reading each and every month, and I would love to share your money message with you. For the readings this month, I will be using my white tarot deck. I will also clarify with my Radiant Rider Weight Tarot. And then I will close out your reading, Aquarius, with a Wisdom of the Oracle card. So, Aquarius, how have you been? <laughs> how, how has your month been going? Uh, I know... You know things have been a little tricky lately but we're gonna we're gonna figure and sort all that out um, I'm feeling like I'm forgetting to tell you something but I guess I'm not so I guess we can just dive right into your reading if something comes up throughout the reading I will of course mention it but I am ready to get started so what do we need to know for the sign of Aquarius as it relates to money, wealth, finances, prosperity, and abundance? For the month of December 2020. All right, decisions, decisions, that's what we've got going on. For you, Aquarius, you've got a lot of decisions happening, taking place as we move into the first week of December. And it looks like, too, you are going to have some new opportunities show up for you, but I don't know if they're totally in alignment with... Um, what you want to do as far as making money, your career, your work, your business options. Uh, we have the Justice card. Now, this is the card of decisions. This is also the card of, you know, fairness and things being uh, determined in a way that benefits everyone involved. The other thing about the Justice card is sometimes this means that decisions are made in your favor. Uh, this is a wonderful card to see, especially in questions related to uh, legal things and, and that type of, you know, circumstance. But the Justice card showing up in a general reading about money usually talks about decisions. And the decisions are uh, falling onto you, Aquarius. You have to make some decisions as it relates to your money, to your work, to your business, and so forth, right? Now, you have the power to create any type of you know, life or income that you want. And I know a lot of people struggle with that. They think, oh, no, I can't do this. I'll never be a millionaire. Well, you know, try not to uh, decide that now because if you want it, you can have it. Now, it may not happen today. It may not happen tomorrow. It may not happen next year. But what could happen over the course of five years, ten years, right? And you don't have to do everything yourself. Now, the other thing I want to pay attention to is we have the Ace of Pentacles here in reverse, Two of Swords reverse, and the Star card in reverse. Now, this tells me that there's an opportunity that's going to show up. However, you have to be very careful because it's not going to be the right fit, okay? Um, this is a very good start to something. However, it's not a match, and I don't know... Um, if you already know this Aquarius, but there's something else that's pulling you towards something, uh, could be a job, could be a business opportunity, could be an investment, could be a real estate property, uh, could be anything, could be anything. I just want to say that I'm not getting all signs a go with these cards here. Now this is the first week of December, so pay attention to what shows up because something's gonna show up, it's gonna look and sound good, but it may not be good for you. Doesn't mean there's anything wrong with the opportunity, but it does mean there's something more that we have to pursue here. There's something more that we have to dig and research, 
right? Because not every opportunity is good for every person. And that's what I'm seeing here. Now, the star card is still a very positive card. It doesn't mean that, let's say, you do decide to go with this opportunity or this business or this purchase or whatever. It doesn't mean that it's going to fall apart. Not at all. But it does mean that it may kind of limit you for other things in the future. Like, let's say, you know, you want to buy a TV, you spend $1,000 on a TV, you know, and then two weeks later, you see the exact same TV on sale for $500. It's, it's a situation like that where it's not necessarily bad, but if we wait it out, things could be better. Or if we choose differently, something could be better and more profitable for us. Uh, next, we have the Queen of Wands, and we also have the Six of Cups. Now, these are two very good cards, too. Queen of Wands talks about things happening in your work. Things are going really, really well. Uh, things are stable. Things are grounded. Uh, you don't have to worry about things being, you know, changing and shifting and being disrupted. Uh, work is going really, really well. And even if you don't have a job, this means that whatever you're doing in order to bring income in, uh, there's not going to be any disruption to that. There's not going to be anything that um, makes it, you know, bad or makes things worse or makes things, you know, too overwhelmingly difficult, okay? Uh, the other thing, we have the Six of Cups here. This is you reconnecting from someone from your past and this is going to be a beautiful reconnection uh, roughly in that first week of December looks like someone from your past wants to you know see you or wants to talk to you or wants to get together you know and it's going to be a very beautiful time it's going to be a very positive moment you know and this could also be something personal however I'm not feeling like it's personal because we're talking about money work finances that type of thing so but it could be it you know it, it very well could be it could be maybe somebody you used to work with maybe uh, an old business partner maybe someone you went to school with you know and you kind of you know you guys kind of reconnect at this time so that's going to be very very good All right, let's see what else shows up for Aquarius. <laughs> Sometimes I, I think I think the shuffle is going to go easy, and then it doesn't. <laughs> All right, what do we need to know for the sign of Aquarius as it relates to money, wealth, finances? Prosperity and abundance. For the month of December 2020. Ooh, nice. Okay. All right, Aquarius. It's time to do some homework. I know that sounds odd, but I'll explain. All right, so we have the King of Pentacles here in reverse. Then we also have the Devil card upright, world reverse, sun and hermit upright. All right, I talked about, or I said, uh, it's time to do some homework. That's what I get from the King of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles is all about financial literacy. Uh, he's a brilliant, you know, savvy, um, very strategic energy. However, when he shows up in the reverse, it means that sometimes we're not taking advantage of the resources that are available to us. Meaning, if you're planning to move into a new job, a new investment, a new property, a new anything financially related, do your homework. You have to do your homework. Uh, you know, you're going to have to research. You're going to have to ask questions. You're going to have to read the fine print. Uh, you know, get counsel uh, if you have to because... Uh, the King of Pentacles talks about you have to do the research. You have to dig for answers uh, before you move forward with any type of investment. Why? Because there's something in it that could come back to bite you. Right? May not happen right away. Could be a few months, a few years down the line. But pay attention. Do your homework and protect yourself. The other thing we have is the devil card here. Now, the devil card is the card of bondage. This is the card of unhealthy attachments. Sometimes this card shows up when we have addiction issues, also um, abuse in some cases. Uh, I'm not sure um, if this is something personal that's 
that's affecting your finances, Aquarius. Or if this is just an unhealthy attachment to something that affects your that affects your finances, you know, could be uh, gambling, could be uh, online shopping, could be debt. You know, a lot of times this comes, this card comes up when we have overwhelming uh, amounts of debt. You know, especially uh, consumer debt. You know, most people, you know, have some type of debt. They either have a mortgage, student loans, car loans, uh, but you know, it's it's all the other little debts that that are. I think are much more uh, soul sucking, <laughs> so to speak. You know, it's it's the credit cards, it's the payday loans, it's you know these um, you know store card loans. You know, uh, that could be what's going on with this. You know, uh, that's something you're going to have to check in with yourself about, and you're going to have to work to kind of get through that. Now we also have the world card here in the reverse. The world card here in the reverse talks about the cycle being incomplete. Something is not done, something is not finished, and you're gonna have to kind of work within that, right? You cannot force anything to complete. You cannot force anything to be done. Uh, maybe you can in some instances, but you probably don't want to. And when it comes to your money, if something is not complete, you need to allow it the time to finish. You need to allow it the time to grow. Now the good thing is, is we have the sun and the hermit card here. The sun is probably the most powerful and most positive card in the deck. This means good things are going to come of all this, okay? You're working through some things. You know, maybe you are working through credit card debt. Maybe you're doing some research on how to manage that debt better. And you're kind of working with the cycle of, you know, your payment plan or, you know, whatever the case may be. Whatever you're doing, you're going to figure out how to make it work for you and how to make it pay off. You know, you're either going to save money because of it or you're going to get money in some way because of it or things are just going to happen and, you know, things are just going to work out in your favor. The other thing is we have the Hermit card here. The Hermit card is a very practical card. It means that, you know, you don't really have to do anything fancy or anything special. You just have to stay the course, stay focused, keep you know, keep moving in the direction towards your goals. Stay diligent, stay purposeful, stay mindful about your spending as well. All right, Aquarius, let's see what else shows up for you. All right, I'm having a hard time shuffling your cards. Aquarius, and when I have a hard time shuffling, uh, that usually means that there's some blockages, energetic blocks, okay? Uh, that happens on occasion when I do uh, readings with clients. If I have a hard time shuffle, or it's a very choppy shuffle, that tells me there's some energetic blocks that are going on that need to be addressed, okay? So let's take a deep breath and see what else is going on for the sign of Aquarius. As it relates to money, wealth, finances, prosperity, and abundance for the month of December 2020. All right, now I'm starting to see a picture develop here. Uh, we've got some repeater cards. We have the world here. We also have the two of swords here and here. But let's start with the three of swords. The three of swords fell onto the king of pentacles as well as this devil card. So the three of swords talks about heartbreak, talks about emotional um, disruptions. It talks about uh, emotional burdens, uh, just sadness. And I, I'm wondering if this these cards are the result of some type of an emotional issue. Now, this can affect your money because, you know, money is very much tied to emotions, especially our spending. And sometimes if we are in painful emotional situations, it can take a toll on our finances. Um, you know, everyone has known of someone, or maybe it could be you, uh, who has had trouble in relationships, and a lot of those troubles were because of money. Uh, so I'm inclined to say, Aquarius, that, you know, could you be having some emotional uh, and financial things going on because there's some emotional and financial things going on? And I know that sounds crazy, so 
Uh, but the thing is, is that you have to be very, very careful uh, with your relationships, not only with your personal relationships and your professional relationships, but your relationship with money. Your emotions have to be strong in order for you to have a strong financial presence, in order for you to make smart, strong financial decisions, okay? So this is just something that we have to pay attention to. It's not anything to be alarmed or worried about, but I think this has to be called out to your awareness Aquarius pay attention to the emotional things that are going on with you because those emotional things are going to be affecting you financially okay we also have the page of swords here in the reverse page of swords in the reverse this is a message coming through about something being stopped eliminated removed or taken away now the thing about the page of swords he is the messenger but he also, this is going to probably be something unexpected here. Now, it doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be something bad, but let's say, you know, someone loses their job or something, and maybe it's a job they didn't care for anyway, or maybe they wanted to do something different anyway. You know what I mean? But it's still going to be a little bit of a shock. That's why he's in the reverse. But we also have the King of Cups here. Now, the King of Cups is the King of Emotions, the King of the Feelings. Now, we talked about emotions overtaking us here. But as we move through the second half of December, it looks like you're going to be going through a lot of emotional healing, a lot of emotional grounding, a lot of emotional stability, which is exactly what you need. We also have the world card again in the reverse. Again, something is not done. Something is not complete. Now, this could be this whole relationship issue. You know, maybe you're working through it. Uh, again, it could be something with a financial tie to it, something that is not done, something that is not complete. You're going to have to just, again, wait it out and allow things to finish on their own, you know, in their own timing and in their own way. Uh, next, we have the Two of Swords. This is a decision that you feel you have to make, but you're feeling like you don't have a choice in the matter. The Two of Swords means you have to pick a way. However, you're feeling like, oh, I'm stuck. I cannot choose this, that, or the other. And, you know, this is all a matter of perception. This is you having to make a choice, and you will make the choice. Now, you may not have everything you need in order to make the right choice at the right time, but you're going to, you know, figure it out. You're going to stumble your way through it like we all do. This is going to be something that I think is going to kind of enlighten you as you move through in your financial journey, Aquarius, because sometimes we just have to decide and then we have to go with it and we have to commit to whatever it is that we decide. And in the process, we will learn something. We will create more money. We will lose money. Uh, we will figure out a way to make more money. Uh, the possibilities are endless, okay? So don't be afraid of the decision. Okay, three of cups. All right, so let's see how December closes out. Oh, nice. For Aquarius. As it relates to money, wealth, finances, prosperity, and abundance. For the month of December 2020. All right. Okay, Three of Cups. Now, this is a card of celebration, so I have a feeling that once you kind of go through all of these things that could be, you know, things that are kind of energetically heavy, uh, you're going to be going through a period of celebrating. Look, you actually break through whatever was keeping you trapped or keeping you stuck here. Look, it finally shows up in the reverse. This is very good. This means you have uh, released emotional burdens. You have released unhealthy attachments. You have released uh, from the bondage that has been keeping you stuck or has been holding you back. That's very, very good. Again, we have the Six of Cups here. Remember, we had that card here. The Six of Cups is reconnecting with someone or something from your past. It's going to be a very joyous, pleasant fun reconnection. I wouldn't be surprised if these two are related because this is the card of celebrations, getting together with friends, having a good time, you know, just being happy and enjoying yourself. And this is the card of reconnecting with someone from the past. I think that's going to be a very good, positive reconnection. 
Uh, next we have the Seven of Cups. You've got so many things ahead, Aquarius. You better get ready because you're going to have so many wonderful choices, especially when it comes to money and finances. You're going to have a lot of opportunities. You're going to have, you know, maybe several job offers. You could have, you know, some new possibilities of investments or, you know, things that will definitely be profitable for you, both in the short and long term. You know, not everything is going to resonate with you, but there's going to be uh, quite a few options for you. So get ready for that. The emperor in the reverse, this means, you know, things are not so uh, controlled. Now, the emperor card is a very controlling energy. When he shows up in the reverse, uh, that is things sometimes being a little out of control, sometimes a little chaotic. But the thing is, is I think Aquarius, this is something that you can manage quite well. And I can tell you that by the cards that I'm seeing here, you know, just because things can, you know, kind of get a little loopy, um, you're not one to kind of get caught up in that. You know, you can still manage yourself quite well, even though things seem to be a little disjointed. Okay, uh, next we have the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. Now, the Queen of Pentacles is a very conservative She's a conservative decision maker when it comes to her money. You know, she's a very, uh, she's someone who doesn't like to waste money, but at the same time, she's not cheap, okay? Uh, that when she's in the reverse, though, so sometimes we can be a little overboard in, in one direction or another, you know, in the sense that we overspend on something because we really think it's going to be a good deal, or we're just so darn cheap that we end up spending more in the long run, okay? And a lot of times it's usually the second one is when I see her in the reverse, is when someone is being, you know, super cheap. It's like, okay, I, you know, we all wanna save money. There's nothing wrong with that, but don't be so cheap that, you know, you end up having to, sp to spend, you know, more <laughs> or twice or three times as much later on. You know, but that's just something minor. You know, that's not anything to worry about. I think it's just sometimes, you know, whatever mood we're in at the time we're making the purchase, that kind of determines how we feel about it. So Aquarius, uh, your December is going to be really good. You know, you're going to work through some things emotionally, which I see right here. Uh, but when all is said and done, you're going to have a lot of options and a lot of possibilities, you know, to make money as well as to grow your money. All right, let's close out your reading with a Wisdom of the Oracle card. Uh, you got card number 15, a message in a bottle. Oh, okay, so... Now, this is a beautiful card because it talks about paying attention to the signs. Like if you are trying to, or I should say if you're waiting for a message or if you're waiting to hear back about something, uh, you're going to get the message, you're going to get the answer, but it's also about paying attention to what shows up. Paying attention to messages, signs, and uh, synchronicities that show up unexpectedly. So, you know, this is a very good card. It's card number 15, and I think this is going to be something definitely for you to pay attention to in the month of December. All right, Aquarius, I hope you enjoyed this reading. I hope it was helpful. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, observations, feel free to drop them down in the comment section below. And I want to thank you so much for spending this time with me. Aquarius will definitely do it all again next month.